This is White Rock Castle as we know it today. This is how it should have been according to my 2017 sketch. As soon as started the project, however, I realized that it was something bigger than me, so I decided to eliminate the Great White Tower. This project has been hidden in my drawer for four long years, until today. The experience gained in recent years has given me the courage to start working on White Rock Castle again. The White Tower was a fundamental appendage of the castle, the last defense, separated from the fortress by a bridge over a tumultuous river. In short, fantasy stuff. I used cardboard as the basis for the tower. The general idea is clear in my mind, so it was not at all complicated to put the general shape together. For the wall textures, I first started with a lazy approach. I would have used the green stuff wall texture roll pins and then try to improve the texture with a pen and my cutter, then with some tools, then with aluminum, then I gave up. Drawing bricks by hand may seem tedious and very boring, but it relaxes me a lot, especially when I have to draw a lot of bricks. Lots of bricks. Many. Small bricks. Once I have enough number of panels with textures, it was just a matter of covering the entire tower. I will deal later with optimizing the blending between the pieces.
Just when I thought I was done with the worst part, I got into another trouble. I decided to create the corners of the tower by alternately applying single bricks of XPS foam. Many. Lots. Finally, I was able to devote myself to adding details. I used the last pieces of the Fortify Manor of the old Warhammer Fantasy to create a small extension of the tower and join it with the rest thanks to some other foam. Now I can proceed to the creation of the fake machiculations in perfect style with White Rock Castle. This architectural element is a copy of the one found on the old Warhammer Fortress. First I divide a piece of XPS foam into half inch segments, then uh, with my arch cutter I go to create arches as you can see here. The last step is what really makes the difference. I start from the middle of the arch, go down to the middle and extract my thread from below. So I create an interesting architectural embellishment. After having reduced the thickness by a few millimeters thanks to the proxon, I joined the matriculation to a row of thicker bricks. For the battlements, I make an exact copy of those already created for the White Rock Castle. I create blocks 2.5 cm, about 1 inch, wide, with a section of about 2 cm square. Using the angled bar of the proxon, I then go to cut the piece with an inclination of 30 degrees. Everything else is, again, pen engraving. Simultaneously with the creation of tones of bricks, I cloned some pieces with the resin, so that they were ready when needed. So far, so good! <laughs> 